I've got a quick and easy one for you today. We're gonna take some salmon, some zucchini and squash, and some baby potatoes. And we're gonna make a meal in under 40 minutes that'll feed a whole family and taste great. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Outdoors with Jeff. Before we light the coals for today's cook, take a minute and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of any new content that comes to the channel. What's up barbecue crew? Welcome back to Outdoors with Jeff. Today we're gonna to come at you with another sheet pan cook that's gonna be a quick and easy meal that you can get done in under an hour. For today's sheet pan cook, we're gonna be cooking some salmon, zucchini and squash, and mixed baby potatoes. The great thing about sheet pan cooks is that, first off, everything is on one pan, and it's a pretty quick and easy cook where you can get everything on there and don't have to worry about doing much else besides if you need to add some extra items later on to the cook. This is great for feeding a family or a large group of folks with minimal prep time, and it's also great for meal prep if you're making meals for work for lunch during the week. Now we're gonna put some great flavors on here today. For the salmon, we're actually going to be using Char Grilla Grills Chili Lime Seasoning. For the potatoes, we're going to be using Char Grilla Grills Sweet and Spicy Seasoning. And on the zucchini and squash, we're going to be using Char Grilla's Garlic and Herb Seasoning. And then we're also going to come back and add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to that as well. For fuel for today's cook, we're going to be using B&B Char Logs. And we're going to have some post oak wood chunks in there for a little bit of a mild smoke flavor. And today we're going to be cooking on the Char Grill of Gravity 980 at 400 degrees. Enough talking, let's get to the cook. So we're going to start with our baked potatoes and we're gonna add some avocado oil as a binder. And we're going to go ahead and mix the potatoes up to coat them with the oil. Next, I'm gonna come back with the Char Grilla Sweet and Spicy Seasoning and get a good amount of that rub on there. And we're gonna come back and mix the potatoes up with that rub. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get the potatoes on the pan. So I'm gonna put down a little bit of oil and just pour the potatoes on there and be sure to spread them out nice and even so they're not bunched up and sitting on top of each other. You wanna have a nice, even cooking area. And you can see the Char Grilla 980 is up to temp at 400 degrees, so it's time to get these potatoes on. And you can see we've got a good amount of rub on here, so we're gonna get some great flavor off of these potatoes. These potatoes take a little longer than everything else, so we're gonna set a timer here for 20 minutes to give them the first part of the cook. When you get a second, be sure and check out the Outdoors with Jeff store. We're officially open with t-shirts and hoodies at the moment, and we're gonna be getting some hats in soon. So be sure and hit the link in the description below or the card in the upper right hand corner. But thank you for your support. And now let's get back to the cook. So here we're going to go ahead and cut the ends off of the zucchini. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the zucchini in half and after that I'm going to cut the zucchini into about half inch pieces and we're doing the exact same thing with the squash here and we're going to come back with a little bit of avocado oil in the bowl and we're going to get a nice mix on that Next, we're gonna come back with the char griller garlic and herb seasoning and get a good amount on the vegetables. And again, we're going to get a good mix. Now it's time to season the salmon and we're gonna come back with some avocado oil and get a good rub on there. And now we're gonna come back with the char griller chili lime seasoning. 
Okay, we're gonna flip the pieces and repeat the process on the top of the salmon. Okay, we're gonna pat that in and let that get a good rest. And this is what the salmon looks like after resting for 10 minutes. And you can see our timer is going off now, letting us know the potatoes are done. And this is what the potatoes look like after about 20 minutes. Be sure and use a spatula to get a quick turn on these potatoes. So now it's time to get the salmon and the zucchini and squash on. So when putting on the salmon, you want to make sure you get a little bit of room in between each portion. And here I'm coming back and we're getting the zucchini and squash on. And you, again, you just want to spread this out to try and get a nice even cook. And we're only gonna need 15 minutes for this portion of the cook here. And our timer is going off to let us know we've hit our 15 minutes. And this is what we look like when we're done. We're just gonna pull this off and let it rest and put some Parmesan cheese on the zucchini and squash. All right guys, this cook is officially done. Let's have a quick recap and cover what we did. We started by having our baby potatoes and tossing them in some avocado oil and then seasoning them with the char grill of sweet and spicy seasoning and getting them on the sheet pan and getting them on the char grill of gravity 980 at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. While those cooked, we prepped the salmon, which we took a filet and sliced it into pieces and then ended up seasoning it with char grill or chili lime seasoning. And we also cut up some zucchini and squash, and we seasoned that with the char grill of garlic and herb seasoning. After the 20 minutes were up, we put the salmon and the zucchini and squash on the pan with the potatoes and let them cook for an additional 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes were up, we took the sheet pan off and we put some Parmesan cheese on the zucchini and squash and let that melt. And here we are. So the only thing left to do after this is a taste test. And I can tell you, this smells fantastic. We're gonna dive into these potatoes first. Yeah. I like that. I like that sweet and spicy on the potatoes. That's a good little kick there. Next, let's dive into this uh, zucchini and squash. Let's get one of each. Now, that's some good flavor on there. You pick up the SPG, but you also get a little more with it. And that Parmesan cheese takes those vegetables right over the top. These are, these are done. We've got a good flavor to them. And last, we're gonna dig into this salmon. Oh yeah. Mm. Look, you know it's good when you gotta go in for a second and third bite. So that chili lime seasoning, that's some good stuff right there. You can get any of these seasonings here at chargrilla.com and mix them up however you like. Use whatever seasoning you like. As long as you're getting into the process of these quick sheet pan dinners, I'm telling you, man, these things are a lifesaver when it comes to getting a quick meal together when you have to cook for a large crowd in a short amount of time. But that's all I got. Thank you for watching and leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the cook. All right guys, thanks for watching this episode of Outdoors with Jeff. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when more content comes out. And also check out these videos here on the channel as well.